What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been such a long time since I've filmed or recorded anything here on YouTube, but I just finished, literally about an hour ago, I just finished the hardest semester of dental school. I am exhausted. I'm running on a lot, a lot of days in a row of just a few hours of sleep. Um, mentally, I don't want to think about school. But I will share how the whole semester went and why I uh, have been walking around on a boot and a scooter for the past month. Um, I had surgery and I start boards studying tomorrow. I take um, the first part of boards before Christmas. So I have so much, so many things to tell you guys. Thanks for sticking with the channel even though I was non-existent. Um, but uh, this should be a good video to catch everyone up on what is happening. See you in a bit. What's up everyone? So I know I haven't filmed in goodness knows how long, but I have some bad news. So if you're squeamish, look away from the screen. I'm going to throw up um, some photos of my ankle. I, it's five o'clock right now. I am headed into surgery in about an hour. I was playing flag football exactly a week ago. I tried to put the old razzle dazzle on someone. I was an idiot and I planted wrong and tore my Achilles tendon. There was a huge pop. So I've been basically hopping one footed literally everywhere for the past week. And I am about to start a, I think, almost a year long recovery process until I get to back to 100%. It sucks really, really bad. Um, uh, school, luckily, is kind of in a lull right now. Um, we have a test uh, Friday in two days that I'm gonna miss because after today I'm gonna be all on, on painkillers for a couple of days after the surgery, um, but after that, I don't have anything for probably about three weeks. So as far as school goes, it was honestly good timing that it happened now, but it really sucks. Um, I've heard tearing your Achilles is literally one of the worst things you can do, worse than breaking a leg, worse than blowing out your knee, um, literally any tendon in your knee. Your Achilles is the thickest tendon, strongest tendon in your entire body, and somehow I managed to um, partially tear it playing freaking flag football, whatever. Anyways, you guys are going to see the road to recovery. It's going to be all the way well into 2019, but today is day number one. So let's go get surgery done. They're going to put me completely under. I'm going to blink wake up and um, it's gonna be done so hopefully everything goes well hopefully the surgeon is you know was an a-plus student and can do well I'll see you guys in a little bit all right checking in for an update it is Monday morning I'm about to head into my first doctor's appointment post surgery so I got my surgery Wednesday uh, now it's Monday I've been rolling around with this freaking I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll get a better angle on that. Um, I've been rolling around with this huge cast on my foot. Can't get it wet, so I've been showering with some uh, plastic bag on my leg. It's been super annoying. Things heavy. Um, it sucks to sleep with. Anyways. What's up, everyone? Just wanted to do a little check-in to tell you guys about my progress. So still, um, th I mean, things are kind of the same. I'm still in this boot here, riding my scooter all the time, but physical therapy was yesterday for the first time, and I really like my physical therapist. He's, he's a homie, and he let me walk, so I can, uh, he told me I can put as much weight on my foot as I can. All right guys, so it's Saturday right now um, in the afternoon. I celebrated last night being done with, sorry, my phone keeps going off, being done with the fall semester, first, oh, I guess second semester of my D2 year. From what I hear, it is the hardest semester of dental school um, at OSU and probably pretty common for um, dental schools across the US. But I am starting to study for boards. I take it on December 21st. Today is, where are we at? Uh, 
Today's December 8th and I'm taking it December 21st and I haven't studied um, at all uh, before this four boards besides obviously taking all the first um, year and a half of dental school. So this is going to be my breakdown. I have 13 days total. I'm going to study for 11 days. Um, just try to get through all the material I can and I'm using the dental decks. You guys can see a lot of flashcards. I'll explain what I'm doing in a second, but I'm going to take 11 of those 13 days to get through all the material and we'll get into specifics uh, probably a little bit later, but I'm going to use the last two days to just review everything. So 11 days getting through everything and the last two days I'm saving for maybe a practice test or two and to um, review all of the subjects or all of the specific questions that I feel like I am very weak on. Now let's talk about how I'm going to break up all this information. This is very rudimentary, like nothing scientific. So I have 11 days. I'm literally going to break up each of the one, two, three, four. Uh, I gotta figure out how many subjects are on this test. Um, biochem, anatomy, microbiome, which includes path, and dental anatomy. So four kind of main subjects, and there's my timer. Currently icing my ankle right now because I was at the gym this morning and I did a lot of rehab stuff and it's kind of swollen. Um, so we got four main subjects. I'm going to break up all these flashcards into 11 different piles, one for um, each day. And I'm gonna be doing like a little bit of microbiology, a little bit of um, anatomy, a little bit of uh, path, um, and a little bit of dental anatomy each day. And so I'm just putting kind of a pile of flashcards in, in a Ziploc bag, and I'm gonna finish that whole Ziploc bag um, that day, kind of hopefully around lunchtime, little, maybe a little bit after, and then um, the afternoon I'm gonna spend reviewing all of those subjects, and then on those last two days I'm gonna run through every single flashcard again, except for the ones that I feel like I know kind of like without even thinking, I'm gonna leave those ones out. So by the time I take the test, ideally I've seen every flashcard and been exposed to each question here, um, probably three, maybe four times. So that's how I'm using the dental decks, splitting them up, um, taking each part of each of the four sections and doing that every day. So every day I'm getting exposed to all four sections. And then also in the night, I have the Dental Mastery um, app and website on my computer and phone. So that is gonna be what I do in the night times. I think there's about a thousand or maybe uh, 1200 questions on there and they give really good explanations. <coughs> um, sorry, I'm a little bit sick, so if I'm out of breath, that's why I haven't done cardio with my uh, torn tendon in probably a month. So, um, but anyways, I'm gonna be using Dental Dex and then also that Dental Mastery website and from what i've read if you're diligent i'm going to try to put in about eight to nine hours every day this is all i'm doing i don't have school i'm going to wake up go to the gym we'll get into the specific schedule kind of times a little bit later when i actually figure it out this is the first time i'm sitting here uh breaking this down sorry this is a kind of a long rant about this but i want you guys to know how i'm going about preparing for boards two weeks or 13 days is probably the minimal amount of time that you want to study, but I'm staying here in Columbus for uh, for all of those 13 days, um, no distractions, and I'm gonna just buckle down, study eight to nine hours a day, hopefully. Then I'm gonna fly home on the 22nd and enjoy Christmas and enjoy the rest of my winter break. So I'm gonna finish organizing, setting all of these out, and uh, get to studying. I'm, not excited for it, but I am excited to get the first part of boards out of the way. What does perfect even mean? Okay, so let's break down exactly how I'm going to study. So right here, as you guys can see, oh, I hope you can see, there are different color flashcards in here broken down by the four main sections, which are, and I'm going to list these in importance of where I'm going to be spending most of my time studying. So the first 
is dental anatomy, dental anatomy slash occlusion. Um, those are kind of the same thing. And then head and neck anatomy. It's kind of general anatomy, but 99% of that is going to be head and neck anatomy. Then we have biochem and physiology, and finally microbiology and pathology. So those are the four sections. Two kind of sciences lumped in together, uh, like microbiology and pathology go together. Their questions kind of integrate, you know what I mean? So the way I'm going to study this, I have 11 bags here for 11 days that I'm going to be studying these flashcards. So every day I pick up this, uh, a stack about this big and I do a little bit of dental occlusion, a little bit of anatomy, a little bit of biochem and a little bit of pathology. So how these cards work is they'll have a question on the front, kind of just like a normal flashcard, answers here, you answer it, you flip it over and it gives a huge long explanation of pretty much each one of those answers, why it's correct or incorrect. So the important thing is not to just get the right answer, but to understand why the other answers aren't, uh, aren't correct because they put those answers um, and explanations on the back for an important reason. They want you to know each of those subjects that way they can get the most kind of bang for your buck, if you will, out of each flashcard. So anyways, I start studying about uh, 8 to 8.30 every morning. Normally I do that here in my apartment and then I study all the way up until 11.30. I go eat lunch and I go to the gym, take a break up until about 2 o'clock, then I head over to the library where I can kind of get away from all the distractions that are here. I feel like in the morning I'm really productive and it doesn't bother me that I'm here, but as the day starts dragging on, I start getting tired and my mind starts coming up with excuses. I, start, I sit down to study and I want to go get a drink. I sit down to study, I want to go to the bathroom or check my phone. So I go into the library after the gym, down some caffeine for the afternoon session and pretty much study all the way till dinner, eat some food, and then go back to the library and study even more. Once I finish my stack of flashcards for the day, I switch over to my laptop and go on to the Dental Mastery, let me see what it's called, dentalboardsmastery.com. This website is probably your number one go-to resource. They have, I think, 1,200, 12 or 1,300 questions, pretty similar to these flashcards, but a little bit more in-depth explanation. So you answer it, and then it'll tell you wrong or right, obviously, and then give you a brief explanation or sometimes a really detailed explanation of all of the answers, how you go about getting the correct answer as well. So I think that's super important. And not only do they have a ton of questions, but they also get all of these questions from the release exams uh, over the years. And so I kind of don't really have to worry about taking any of the practice exams because all those questions are showing up here. I highly, highly recommend anyone that is trying to study for the boards get the Dental Boards Mastery uh, app. You can get it on your phone and you can get it just on the normal website. Highly recommend it. Honestly, if you are scoring anywhere between like 70, I'd say even like 68% to 75% or higher, you are pretty golden from what everyone um, everyone on the internet says and past experiences. I don't know for myself, but we'll see how it goes. Anyways, that, that is my study schedule. Start around um, 8.30 in the morning, go take a, go all the way up until lunch, take a few hours break, and then grind as much as I can until it's time to go to bed. I study usually about till 10-ish, 10 10.30 if I'm feeling really motivated and then I go home, relax, watch Netflix until like 11.30, go to bed, wake up the next day and repeat the process. So I've given myself 11 days to go through all of these flashcards and then the last two days I'm gonna strictly review. So trying to crush all these, um, all these questions on the Dental Boards Mastery website and review any topics that I need to know. All right, so an update on studying. In my feelings right now about the test, I feel like, uh, when do I, today's Tuesday, I take it on Friday. So I have um, tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday to review. I'm kind of stressed, I mean, yeah, I'm definitely stressed, but I feel like I haven't, I if I could go back, it's not like I could study harder than I have been, so I'm proud of that and um, that fact is helping me not stress out too much. Literally, there's nothing uh, more I could have done. The only thing that 
kind of sucks is I guess I could have postponed the test date because when you take these boards, you can schedule them for whenever you want. But I'm taking them on the on December 21st, and I just don't want to be here in Columbus any longer than I have to because I want to go fly home and enjoy what I have left of the Christmas break. I want to go spend the holidays with my family and kind of get away from school. So when spring semester starts up, January, I think 7th is when we go back to school, that I my batteries are recharged and I'm you know, ready to go for an entire uh, new semester of worrying about every single point and keeping a high GPA class rank and all that stuff. So I'm just trying not to let it stress me out too much. It's a huge test, but um, for all of those, for all of you who are preparing for the DAT, I would much, much rather be studying for boards than I would be for the DAT. So I'm sorry about that. But anyways, that's how I'm feeling. Kind of about a 6.5, eh, about a six right now. So I've got two days to review. Hopefully that will bump me up to seven or an eight. See you guys at the library. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, can we switch up? All right. Just uh, got done studying for the last time. It's Wednesday night, take, or no, it's Thursday night, geez. Thursday night, take the test tomorrow, Friday morning. This is the last study session that I was going to get in. So I hope all the knowledge is in my brain hole. And see you guys tomorrow morning. What's up guys? This is probably incredibly red because it's really dark outside. It's 7.15, morning of the test. It takes about 15 minutes to get there. Test starts at eight, so I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna go into arrive around 7:30. I'm really nervous. Uh, I know a bunch of stuff, but you never know if they're gonna ask some random, random details of things that you didn't study for. So I'm just gonna go in there, keep my mind thinking positively, optimistically, and hopefully in two weeks we will get an email saying that we passed. Uh, wish me luck. See you guys on the other side. are back so <laughs> boards they are something else uh, very very tough test the kind of the way it's broken down is you do kind of four sets of 100 questions each and I thought the first three were kind of manageable um, I was uh, not too tired but once that four set of 100 came around oh man I was my eyes were hurting my neck was hurting from like looking up at a computer screen uh and they just threw the most random micro and pathology terms that i could think of most of well not most of them but a lot of them i hadn't even heard of so fingers crossed i guess lucky on that last section uh i guess we'll find out in four weeks whether i pass or not can't say that i'm too optimistic but yeah Test is done, I'm really excited. I started around 8.30 and I finished exactly at two. Um, so I think that's what, like five and a half hours or something, that's how long it took me. Um, the, I'd say 70% of this test is based off of dental anatomy and head and neck anatomy. So if you guys are out there studying, maybe like 60%, if you guys are out there studying, definitely go as hard as you can on dental anatomy one first and then go over to head and neck, get all the nerves, um, and arteries and veins down, and then do a little bit of, um, I say path is next, and then micro would be the most beneficial. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap that, uh, wrap this video up. I uh, thank you guys for watching, and I am excited to be done and enjoy Christmas break. I haven't been stress-free since August, so I'm ready to just absolutely do nothing. See you guys in the next one.